So we've spent the last six months touring around the Yucatan Peninsula. In our last couple videos, we've shown you around Merida and Progreso. Tomorrow, we're actually going to be going to Panama and we're definitely excited to go there but we've got a little bit of a pit stop as we're not leaving until early tomorrow morning. Now today we're actually staying at one of the most unique hotels in all of Cancun. It's not right down in the Hotel Zona on the beachfront like a lot of people coming down here would be looking for. But when you come down to Cancun, you're going to want to be doing a bunch of different excursions and this hotel is actually located right on Highway 307, which is the direct route to Playa del Carmen, Tulum, some of the cenotes that you're going to want to check out. It's in a really great location. Now, it's getting a little bit loud out here, so I'm going to take you guys inside with Jess here and we're going to show you around what this hotel has to offer and some of the amenities in the area as well. A lot of great places to eat and a really unique hotel here behind me. So let's go check it out. So when you first get here, you're going to pull up just right along this street here. Probably get dropped off by your taxi driver or whatever right there. You're going to want to make your way down this way through the corridor. You'll find a set of escalators. This is how you get your way up to the hotel. Now it's located in a mall, which means lots of shopping opportunities, easy access to banks and ATMs if need be, a lot of restaurants around. So you have your pick of different types of food and you basically just make your way up the escalator here and then turn right. Now I haven't given the name of this place yet. And where we're staying here tonight is called the Yellow Capsule Hotel. So you'll make your way over, come over here. Now we've never stayed at a capsule hotel. We're kind of excited about it, but there's a lot of amenities that this place has to offer. So when you first come in, you'll see the sign-in area. And then when you come into the back part here, there's a nice big breakfast nook area, free tea and coffee, 24 hours, as well as breakfast included. Now they do also, just so you guys know, they do have a number of tours available that they can book right through the hotel here as well. Tours starting at just 39 USD. Then out here, you've got the yellow capsule corridor overlooking little lagoon area here. If you're not really looking for that all-inclusive swim-up bar resort type experience, but you want to come down to Cancun, check out some of the amazing activities and adventures you can go on. This highway 307, like I said, is going to be your main route to the majority of them and we are located right off of it. Now, it's extremely budget friendly. We haven't mentioned the price yet. It's actually, we got this place for, I believe, $19 for the night, $25 for the night extremely cheap in comparison to some of the other places you'll find in Cancun and there's a number of restaurants and bars all around in the area so you do have access to some great amenities at a low discounted rate and very close to all the activities and adventures you want to go on down here in Cancun. Now you're probably wondering what are the rest of the amenities look like? What does the bathroom look like? What does the change room look like? And what does the actual pot itself look like? Let's go take a look. All right, so when you first walk in, you'll see that there's a number of different lockers all throughout the change room. Now, this is not necessarily a change room. This is a locker room. It's a co-ed locker room. And when you log in, you're gonna get one of these wristbands here, and they're gonna be basically just come up, tap onto it, and then it'll open up for you. Now, Close it and you're good to go. There's women's washrooms and the men's washrooms. Now as you come into the bathrooms, you've got this big long sink, blow dryer, toilets obviously, and then just your standard shower stall here with body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. Now in your locker you'll also be given a towel so you don't need to rent a towel or anything they come equipped with that all right and that's a little bathroom now you guys are probably wondering what the pod looks like we're gonna go in there 
This is the sleeping area, or they call the dormitory area. Now, as you can see, no food, no smoking, no cell phones. What they want is no sound or no vibration. Obviously, you can use your cell phone. They have free Wi-Fi here and whatnot, but the vibrations can bother people if you're on the top bunk or whatever, so they want you to turn those off as well. No running, no shoes, so we've already taken our shoes off. No garbage, and try to be quiet. Let's go check it out. So, again, you want to be quiet, and it's so dark in here. It's kind of hard to find your pod when you first walk in. Our pod's just around the corner here. Now, go over some of the features you can expect in your pod when you come in and showcase all that. Now, when you come up, you're going to find your pod, take your key card here, and just swipe that, and it unlocks the pod and swings open. Oh, Hi. look who it is. Hello. So, I was just going to show everybody around the pod here mm -hmm. and to show them the features that are included or involved in the pod. Maybe you can show us around. Yeah, definitely I can. So, when you first get in, it's really cool what you've got here. So, you do have a normal safe. It's small, but, and it looks like you kind of have to move the bed. But you still got a safe, so that's a big bonus, especially in a hostel. You never know who you're going to come across, right? So it is important. For sure. Really cool on the light situation. You can see here that there is mirror light. And then it goes all the way. So that's really cool. You've also got ceiling light, so you can adjust like all the ceiling lights. Can you see that? Mm. Know. So that's really cool, especially when you know you want to go to bed and stuff. You want to kind of quieten down the night. You can make a real nice um, light. <laughs> you can light up the room <laughs> in multiple different ways for sure, and the different colors of lights are nice. Yeah. Like when you want that not so white, bright blue light. Yeah, like exactly when you're trying to like um, calm yourself at night time and like really kind of chill down the vibe in your room and you don't have this harsh bright light keeping you up. You can have that warm light and also dim it, which is yeah. nice. Right behind you is really cool. Actually you have a TV, which I was really surprised about. I did not expect a TV. Um, you have your TV remote, which is provided. But since it is a hostel, you actually have to, like everything here is very quiet. Like you're not allowed to have your phone on loud or anything. Um, obviously, because it's people like above us, beside us, like everywhere. But it's really cool because to use the TV, you actually have to have headphones and these are the jacks. So you both can watch the TV and put your headphones in. So you both have different headphones and it just hooks up to the TV. So that's pretty cool. You also have your key card here. Insert card for power. Just figured that out. I think we need to actually slip the key card in to gain pack power for the USBs. Mm. That's cool. See, we're figuring it in out. Still figuring yeah. it out. Haven't figured out the airflow yet. So as you can see, there's like air flows throughout. I think it's just the one. So <laughs> 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 There's so much. So I'm guessing there's just two air flows. There's dials here. Clock. I'm not. I really need to play around with this because. But you can move. Oh, up. Are you moving? That's something I'm gonna have to think yeah. about because I don't fully really understand how they work. But bottom line, it's got a yeah. lot of built-in uh, automated features. So you've got your USB is really important because we all use USBs, but it's actually got like proper power. Like if you need to plug in your laptop, you can actually plug in. And it's nice too because it's one of those universal plugs where it works for yeah. any plug-in from anywhere in the world. Also really cool that I just actually just figured out when I was looking at the vents, the reading lights. Mm. So when you want to yeah. just lay in bed and read and, well, and then maybe not disturb the person beside you. These ones down. And then you would have your reading lights. But I think that's all for the technology. Honestly, there's quite a lot of technology. So there is a table, which is really cool because I just figured this out. So you would just lift up and like it literally just pops out. 
still learning. <laughs> and then you can have a table. So oh, that's pretty work. awesome. Yeah. So yeah, that's really cool. I just figured that out. So a little laptop <laughs> yeah. table. They say no food, but they give you a table. So I'm guessing it's for work purposes. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's awesome for sure. Um, also, it's really cool. You've got little hooks, and I'm not sure what this is. I think that's where the fire extinguisher should be. No. <laughs> Maybe it's for us in a water bottle, but the fire extinguisher probably sounds a bit better. Than that the makes water more bottle. sense. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that, it's pretty much a bed in a locker. Pretty much. Pretty much and a bed the, in a locker. It's like a foamy mattress. Feels actually really comfortable, so I think we'll be okay for a night. I think we'll be safe. And the bed is actually really clean. One of the first things, I don't think it would stay very clean if you're in and out of your pod throughout the day because you're wearing socks throughout the whole thing. You have to take off your shoes and you know, they don't want to be treading dirt in because people, you just jump into your bed. So I think you need to be careful about keeping everything clean, but everything looked really clean when we got in we got our sheet we got our earplugs code of conduct so what's that overall i think it's really good for the price that we paid i think we paid um i think i thought it was 19 or 25 yeah it was just, uh, just you'll find different dollars. prices online yeah we sure. actually had points so we used those points um but we will i will find out how much i did pay for it and i'll let you guys know and we'll put it right here no <laughs> <laughs> so yeah overall it was really cheap and we're basically you know we're gonna be in and out for the like we're not even here for 24 hours because we have to catch an early flight so we're like we don't want to pay a fortune on a really expensive hotel because we're not even going to be there mm -hmm. so we just need somewhere to lay our head down change maybe you know shower brush our teeth and that's one thing i'll point out is that a lot of people want to hit up the resorts mm -hmm not leave the hotel just spend the whole week between the beach and the resort for some other people there's you know the desire to get out and take part in some of the different adventures and excursions that the yucatan peninsula has to offer and this location like we mentioned earlier is in prime location to just get up and get out and go do those things so if you're not really looking for the resort feel but you want to come to mexico to see and take part in some of those activities this is a great place and a really budget-friendly yeah. alternative for sure really cool too like right outside a hotel is tons of restaurants like really nice restaurants there's the brazilian um brazilian steakhouse there's an italian place there's fridays like there's a bunch of stuff you can do and then even 10 minutes down the road you've got clubs restaurants you've got the center of cancun so it is a prime location yeah, and the room comes with breakfast, but it doesn't come with dinner. So I think we might go grab dinner. <gasps> and grab wine. some to eat, grab some dinner, grab some wine, and probably call it an early night here. We've got to get up first thing tomorrow morning to head to Panama. Not even like get up in the middle of the night, not even the morning. It's, we, have, we will be on the plane in 12 hours. We will be on the plane in 12 hours, and it's 5 o'clock p.m. right now. <laughs> so. We're going to go grab uh, early-ish dinner, or I guess decent time dinner, and then probably just come back and relax. One thing I would like to just chirp in that I think is really important for safety, because when you're in hostels, they can be scary. You are sleeping with random people right next to you. Really important to, there is locks on these doors. Um, there, there's the key card, just like a regular hotel has, so you do that when you come in. But there's also locks internally that locks the door in mm -hmm. here and it's again just right on the switch there door lock really important because obviously that's you know important factor when you're traveling especially for young females All right guys, so that's the Yellow Capsule Hotel. Just finished wrapping up dinner. Gonna head to bed now and call her a day. We are going to continue our journey on to Panama tomorrow. If you want to check that video out, we'll be posting it next Saturday, so keep an eye out for that. Don't forget to hit like if you got any value or entertainment out of this video. If you wanna continue following our journey uh, from Mexico to Panama and beyond, Make sure to hit subscribe, ring a ding ding dong that bell <laughs> so you're notified of our next video and we will see you in the next one.
See you in Panama. See you in Panama. Bye. Bye.